So we're here at CES 2015. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, you're showing update. Yeah, yeah, so we're showing a lot of stuff here, but uh, specifically on the mobile front, on the tablet front. These are two tablets, 83 octa-core tablet showing off uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop. This is A33, uh, also the same Lollipop upgrade. So kind of showing you guys the uh, little bit what's going on here. So this is the latest uh, Android support on A33, A83, mm -hmm. and uh, A80. Right, right. All are updated to Lollipop right now. Yeah, yeah. So we're actually one of the uh, the fastest vendors to market with Lollipop support <clears throat> for, for all of our chips. So if anyone wants to get Lollipop on their devices as soon as possible, you just request for your suppliers to uh, uh, to get it on board. So uh, how can you be so fast? Uh, I mean, we've got a, a, an engineering team dedicated to updating devices as soon as possible, right? So whenever a new version of Android comes out, we've got guys who are going to be porting it as soon as possible to be able to get devices between you know, two weeks to four weeks after a new release is, uh, is released from Google. So it, it, they, they were ready kind of like in December or some of them, and just right now, just before CES, you got it all Lollipop yeah, ready. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, Lollipop, it was, uh, it was actually open source. The AOSP was open source at the beginning of November, if I remember correctly. So we've been working on it for a while. And previous to that, we were already working on a, uh, um, you know, a, an internal release from Google. All right, and here we have uh, uh, the A80, also Lollipop. Yeah. Right here. And uh, so there's lollipop everywhere here. And what else we've been talking about here at uh, so CES? Else, I'll show you guys uh, what else is going on on the, uh, on the home front. So that's kind of the mobile front. Um, that's the mobile front over there. And kind of what we're, what we're doing in the home entertainment space is, is showcasing uh, two new chips. So we've got the, the H8 uh, devices based on the H8 and also uh, the H3 devices based on the, uh, the H3. Uh, so both of these are different. They're positioned differently. So the H3 is uh, is a new chip that we've released that's specifically for uh, it was designed from the ground up specifically for OTT boxes. So it has a level of integration that's really suitable for uh, for the box market. And it's going to be a really good entry level solution in uh, in the box market in 2015. And the H8 is more of a uh, uh, it's more of a higher performance, more more suitable for for gaming. It has a better GPU. Uh, so the H8 is an octa core kind of a mid range solution. Um, and then, as you all know, there's there's the A80 solution for box. It's much more higher performance, uh, you know, 64 core GPU. Um, so, and that's kind of what's going H on. The A80 is really great for the box, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the A80, the like, good. yeah, we've been working on a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff in the last two months around A80. Mm -hmm. So, we look forward to kind of being able to, uh, you know, release new versions of uh, of Android in that. And you just had a press release for the 64 bit. Right, 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 right. So we're really excited in. Uh, uh, the first half of this year to be able to get 64-bit solutions to people. So as you guys know, like we've been the leader in the entry-level tablet space ever since 2011, 2012. So from that point, it's been A13, A23, A33. What we'll have in the first half of uh, 2015 is the A64, which is our first 64-bit uh, you know, entry-level chip. And it's a crazy entry level. You even in the press release you say five dollars for a sixty-four bit ARM CPU. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's the, the you know that's the situation in the entry level tablet space, right? It's a uh, you know it's really price driven. We think that's going to be a really compelling solution. A lot of performance, you know, good sixty-four bit performance in that lower cost package. And you might you already working on the development boards? They're coming out very soon, and devices uh, within very few months, right? Yeah, yeah within a few months, you definitely see devices.